Wow! What's up everybody? Once again, it's Brand Man Sean and I'm back with another episode of Inside the Network where we share exclusive content from inside of brandmannetwork.com. And for this particular snippet, I'm showing a part of an interview that I did with Mike Millions. If you don't know who he is, he's an artist manager who's been moving his way up and through the game. He has multiple experiences when it comes to the music industry, but for this particular clip, it's helpful for not just artists, but artist managers, anybody who wants to be a music professional, probably but just who wants to do anything great, honestly, in my opinion. And after we go through it, there's three things that I want to talk about from based off of what he said. So let's go ahead and get into it. I was telling you about the clothing line. Yeah. I gave up on that clothing line because I wasn't consistent. It wasn't, okay. bringing, it wasn't bringing no money in. You know, we just putting out stuff. You know, I didn't even have no money to put behind it. I just had the idea. We just had the idea. So right. It was just some young kids just trying to come up with something. And, you know, I gave up on it. Mm. And one thing I don't like, especially in my younger years, the, a couple of mistakes I made was just hopping from adventures to adventures. Because, you know, people, people want to see <laughs> that quick success. So now that I'm hopping into this management industry stuff, one thing I never did was turn back. One thing I never did was like, oh, I'm gonna do something else. I know, I, I know it takes. That's seven, dope. I know it took seven. It takes seven incomes to be a millionaire. But if I don't master this industry shit first, how can I jump onto the second income? And Yo, that's big, man. Yeah. So I never made a U-turn in this industry stuff. I got, I got my door. I got cl doors closed on me. Right. I got opportunities not given to me. I got doubted. I got shitted on. I got talked about. But I never made a U-turn. Mm. So that's why that's why I'm here. Every true business, every true business takes five years to at least see some growth. This year, cause I kind of this, this year is my fifth year, and I can honestly see that result that I'm telling you about. Mm. And it's not you know I'm not a millionaire, but you know I'm 28. <laughs> yeah. So at least I'm not. But broke. It's, it's different. You can it's tell. Different. I could tell just the, even just the people around me. Just like and it matter the people around you matters. Yeah, the man. people around you really matters because it's like shout out to everybody that rock with me and shout out to everybody that that really fuck that really like really like me. But if people don't, people like you know, people don't want you to be better than them. That's just the truth. You feel I me? Mean? It's not you can't get mad at that. But it's like if you want if you don't have the right people around you, it's just your ship is cr is crumbling. Mm. And, and it might not be visible. Yeah, but low key is crumbling because. Those people don't, people don't, those right people that's not around you are really just taking pieces of pieces away from you. And it's like you, it's like a ship crumbling, like, you know, it's like the Titanic when it started flooding from the bottom and then just then it and then broke in half. Yeah, it's a wrap. That's yeah, it's a wrap. That's exactly what happened. You're going to start chopping from the feet and then going to go up and then you're be like, man, I don't even do this industry stuff no more. So mm. I was like, I eliminated some people out of my life this year. Um, no offense, no diss to them. It's just about it's just about growth at the end of the day. Mm. My banker told me this. That's why I did it. He told me if I'm the smartest person in my peers, I need to go find a new group of friends to hang out with. And I know I'm smart. I'm smart. In high school, I wasn't in the straight A's. And the only reason I was straight A's because I didn't really apply myself like I was supposed to. I played a lot. Yeah. You feel me? But it's all about applying yourself. So when it comes to this industry stuff, I applied it. 100% focus on it. I mean, no matter what I do, every day I try to make something significant progress to what I do. Right, 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 right. No matter what, whether it's reading, watching the interview, contacting somebody, talking to somebody. Just building. Just building. And um, also I want to tell like people, like, the little wins matter. Like, you could go backstage to a concert. That's a little win. That's might, a little win. It might not be, it might not be, you know, it might not be... It might not turn into money. You might have spent some money to get backstage. Mm. But that's little. Because how many people would get backstage? You feel me? I feel you. Yeah. You feel me? So it's just all about little win. If you if, if you begin to meet with somebody important, take that as a little win. Because mm. how many people could meet that important person? You feel me? That's Those are little wins. Pictures, everything. Those are little wins. Those are little wins. And it's eventually going to turn into a major win. When it's the time, this is all about watering your plant, watering your tree. You feel me? You got you to gotta, you gotta put the seed in, got to water it up, and then I'm, 
I'm halfway there, you feel me? Like, I, right now, I feel like in my career, I'm, like, between that 50 to 75% mark, you feel me? Because I know that I made some significant progress, but I know there's more to do. There's more work to do. So yeah. I'm in that 50 to 75% because I'm hard on myself. I criticize myself, and I just I just want people to see my work, you feel me? Give me my credit. So when things are not going my way, I get hard on myself. I criticize myself first because I know that I'm better than this. And I just don't like unnecessary... I guess unnecessary headshots. Like when you know when the enemy's about to yeah, kill you. Yeah, yeah. I don't like the unnecessary <laughs> headshots because I'm like, man, I'm like, why are y'all, like, why is it coming? Like, why are you coming for me like that? I ain't yeah, doing yeah. nothing. Yeah, yeah. I'm just working. You feel me? I'm just working. Like people don't understand what you have to do in this in this industry. Like your reputation matters. Yeah. You have to do certain things. Yeah. Perception is reality. But also back to perception is make sure your reality is matching up. <laughs> that's the weird part that the, the, the perception, perception matters reality, so but much just make sure the reality is matching up yeah and if it's not matching up just make sure you're transparent enough to know that it's you you're making a progress mm. you feel me like if, mm. i don't you know we're not best friends but if you come to my world and and you see okay one way is, is the perception is reality but you also know that i'm trying mm. because you know perception like i said perception is reality but some people go fake that perception, and then you go see them and be like, "Damn, you're not that person you're I not, thought you yeah, was." Yeah, yeah. So, but one thing I do is, I know perception is reality, but I try my best to be transparent and let you know that I'm not. I might be in a Maybach today, but I drive a Lexus, <laughs> yeah. or and I don't wear designers. Yeah, you feel me? Yeah. But I'm around this and that, and I'm trying. You feel me? Right, right, right. Um, and I'm always big on reputation. Even when when you're dealing with girls like people talk so they're just like you don't want to have I don't want to have unnecessary enemies or just unnecessary doubts for no yeah. reason I don't care what people say about me but at the same time it's like when you go avoid the bullshit avoid it you know me? avoid exactly. it exactly avoid it like why would you want yeah. like why would you want people to come like, it's like a target why would you come and you already know people coming for you regardless so you don't want people to just start aiming aiming at you any type of way so right. I'm all about just Making sure my perception and reality is matching up. With that being said, then, I mean, that's really forcing you to take the longer route. Mm -hmm. All right, so if you want to watch that entire interview, you can check it out on brandmannetwork.com. But there's a few things that I think is really important to take note from that interview. One being Mike talking about how he really, you know, jumped around from adventure to adventure when he was younger. And he kind of wished he didn't do that, but he learned not to do that. And it helped him settle down in the music industry. And why I think that's so important for people to know is because I come across people all the time who see one opportunity and another opportunity in the music industry, or they see something that looks, you know, flashy, like something, something that looks so great. But once you settle into a lot of these opportunities, whether you're an artist trying to work with somebody, or you get signed to a certain situation, or even if you're just, you know, a music professional, a lot of times once you get in those situations, you know, you start to see the reality of things and other things start to look flashy or you see another big name that you could be attached to and you really never get a chance to get settled and actually achieve something. So you have all these good names that you've been attached to, all these people that you know or might know you, but nobody can vouch for the work that you can do. Nobody can say you can do anything measurable, make any kind of real impact because you've been jumping around all this time. So when Mike actually talks about the lesson he learned from that and finally settling down in the music industry, and not making any U-turns, there's a lot of value in that because everybody's going to go through something. Not making a U-turn is something that oftentimes you'll appreciate later. I know I've gone through that and actually there's a great story that I remember. So I was probably like 18, 19 and I was interning with some rich people really right i was helping out these entrepreneurs and they had me around millionaires and even meeting billionaires and there was this one guy who told me this story when he was in college he said he was in all these organizations so many organizations and at the end of the year they had this competition where people won awards for being in these organizations and he just thought oh i'm gonna be i'm gonna get so many awards because i'm in so many organizations i know so many people yada 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 but at the end of the day what actually happened was he got nothing he got nothing and it kind of broke his heart 
at the moment. And one day though, he said he settled down and kind of reflected on that entire instance and noticed that everybody who actually got something was only in one organization, maximum two. And what he pulled from that and realized was, yo man, like, yeah, I was in all these organizations, but this person became the president of the organization, or this person had some considerable impact on that organization. And because he was spreading himself so thin, he was never able to make that impact on anything, never able to get lauded as somebody who's on the next level or worth awarding because he never was able to even make those relationships, show his value, or just be of value in general. Yeah, you know people, but there's a lot of people in the music industry that know a lot of people. Making impact is where you're ultimately going to get judged on. So keep that in mind. And also, look, just the reality, that's where your career is going to move, right? You're only going to get the value and career moves and level up from what you do and from sticking in one place for a period of time to make an impact. Sometimes it's time to switch, but you still need to leave something palpable to build upon, right? You got to build and, and go up levels, which also alludes to something else that Mike said, which was, look, yes, there's this statistic that so many people share. Millionaires on average have seven income streams. Yes, we hear it. We hear it again and again. However, you have to start with something, right? That one thing will get you to another level and then you can diversify and it's more about retaining and maintaining, right? People have to get their money. They build that well or dig that well deep. And once you have that, you can invest in these other things. Oftentimes, diversification is really a method of maintenance not a method of building, right? You usually have to focus to break through that first time. So he's kind of alluding to that. And I did an entire video on that, ironically, probably about two Saturdays ago. So keep that in mind though. And the last but not least thing that I want to take from this particular interview is another thing that Mike said, which was, if you don't have the right people around you, your ship is sinking. Whether you know it or not, Right. If you don't have the right people around you, your ship is sinking. Let that register and think about that because your ship could be sinking slowly and you just aren't aware of it. So just because you aren't aware of it, if you know you don't have the right people around you, if there's nothing drastic happening, you still are suffering. So you need to make sure that you're scrambling to get around the right people, have the right team. Uh, be learning from the right people, getting in the right environments, because that's just a reality of the game. I actually saw this great quote today. I, I know I'm going to butcher it, but I'm still going to try to draw from it. And he was basically saying that success breeds complacency and only the paranoid survive. And I thought that was interesting because obviously, you know, there's people who just don't have the right people around them in the first place. But then there's this other idea of you getting to a certain location and then you might get a little cocky, cocky, right? You get complacent and those people who aren't getting complacent, they're paranoid that they're going to lose their position. They're the ones who figure out how to stay or maybe continue to level up. So that's another thing to just, you know, keep in mind. I randomly thought of it when I uh, went back through Mike's videos. But again, if you want to watch this entire interview, you can check it out on brandmannetwork.com. We help artists build their infrastructure, get their marketing stack in place. And of course, develop their brand. So as always, if you like this video, go ahead and like button. If you like it, you might as well share. And if you're not subscribed,